Hi everyone, it's Lisa. Thanks for joining me today on Sean Petit's channel. And today we're going to create this piece on a 12 by 12 piece of MDF board. We're going to use a homemade stencil here with the leaves. And we're going to be putting down some papers that are from a journal book that was given to me and I cherish it and I love these papers for the background. Just putting it down with my matte medium and we're going to cover the entire back of this piece. We're also going to be using some roller paper from a player piano. So this paper is old, really old. It was given to me as a gift, as a gift, excuse me, from my friend Sharon, and I thank her very much. It is beautiful paper. Here it is, look at the box. So nice, and it creates great texture. I will use this in lots of my projects. Thank you so much, Sharon. Today we're going to be making a project with lots of fall leaves and then I guess we're going to have to get on to the winter projects. So be patient with me. Fall is my favorite time of year and I have a great time working on these fall projects. Now that my background is all covered, I'm going to use this homemade stencil that I had laying on my desk. I had cut out a bunch of fall leaves for a different project and I just couldn't bear to throw away the scraps. It made a great stencil. I'm going to put down a little bit of gesso to push that writing back a little bit and not too much though. I don't want to hide it because I love that old journaling paper. And there's a peek at a stencil. Well, it's actually a metal leaf decoration that I got at the cranberry festival with my friend Kathy and when I saw it I thought right away stencil so here's the handmade stencil that I talked about and I am just pushing heavy gesso through that stencil to create those leaves here's Sean's um, stencil of falling leaves and that comes with mini masks also a beautiful stencil and I thought putting that down with some black paint is going to make an amazing background. And I was right. It turned out really neat. Just using a makeup sponge there and some heavy body black acrylic paint. Of course, I waited for those white leaves with heavy gesso to dry first before I did this part. I really like this background. I think I'll probably be using it again in an upcoming project. I really like the contrast of the black and the white. And when I used that heavy gesso on the white flowers, it created quite a bit of texture. Now I'm using some fluid acrylic and I will list all the colors below in the description area with links if you need to purchase anything. Just pushing that back with a little bit of water. And it really makes a gorgeous background. I didn't want it to get it too dark because I want that journaling paper to show through. Dabbing it off with my towel there and giving it a little heat with my heat gun. 
Now I'm going to add just another little color of fluid acrylic and some more water. This is a rusty color and we're going to add some green also. This is a dauber brush that has a um, coarse texture. I found it in my stash and I thought it would make some real neat texture on that background. You see I'm only doing it in the upper left and the bottom right corner because that's the only part that's going to see, going to show through after I put down those big metal um, leaves used as a stencil. I used a little alcohol here to blend those colors together. I'm dabbing on more of that green gold fluid acrylic paint to add one more layer of texture. Here I'm going to use that metal leaf that I got at Cranfest and I'm just going around it with a pencil. I'm going to do the outline and then I'm going to do the inside leaf veins with some black archival ink and a makeup brush to push it through the stencil or fall leaf decoration as it is. Really neat to try and use things that would normally not be what you would think they're for. So this is a decoration to hang in your window. And I thought, wow, it's just perfect size for a great big piece like this. So I had to try it. Now I'm going to do the bottom corner and that it gives it some real good um, symmetry. Going around with my pencil, I'm going to use the same acrylic ink and here it is finished. Now I'm going to use some more acrylic paint and I'm going to cover up some of that background so those two leaves in the corners stand out. The colors I'm using for the acrylic paint is Elephant by Dana, Dana Wakely. Um, Pewter Gray, and that is by Apple Barrel. And then uh, Dilusions Chopped Pesto that you'll see here in a minute. I'm just going around the leave images with my brush and creating kind of a gray marbled effect over those leaves. It was hard to cover up those leaves but the end result is really quite beautiful and it really worked. You can let me know in the comments below if you think I should have stopped with the black leaves on the gold and greenish background or you liked what happened when I covered them up. Let me know. As I was creating this piece, it was raining outside and the fall leaves were blowing past the windows and it was just a great day to stay inside and create. So I really enjoy those kind of days. 
and I was happy to have this piece turn out the way it did so I could share it with you. Now you can really see the dimension of the piece and you can see the actual outline of those maple leaves. Here I'm adding some of that chopped pesto green to the background and I was hoping I wasn't wrecking it here. I felt like stopping and turning back and maybe wiping off that gray and the green, but I thought, well, I'll just keep going and see what happens. And I'm pretty glad that I did. I'm adding some alcohol here and removing some of that green and pulling it back with a paper towel. This is a technique that Sean uses in her videos and it's really fun to try some things that you see in her videos so we can see if it works for us. Here's the little tag that came on the box from that roller paper from my friend Sharon and it said Polka on it and advertised the name of the song. Well, I thought that it would be pretty neat for the Oktoberfest um, time of year and the fall leaves. Here's Sean's stencil, Fall Words 2 and I put on crunchy leaves, chilly nights, crisp mornings, and I think crackling fire. And it makes a real great uh, accent to the piece, pulling out some more black, and I'm using that archival ink with the makeup brush. After everything is dry, I use my burnt umber and water as a wash and I'm going to push everything back and bring out all of that texture in the piece and it really pulls it all together. After this portion I was really happy with how it turned out and I was glad I didn't go back and restart. You never know how it's going to turn out keep going you can always cover it with gesso and get rid of it at the end if you're not happy with it but I really liked how that brown pulled everything out in the end everything's dry I'm going to use a white gel pen well first I'm using my charcoal pencil to create the depth and dimension behind the leaves the pencil was breaking all the time so I had to sharpen it off camera and come back and shadow and define those leaves. My favorite part. I think this part is so rewarding. If it gets a little dark, just use a wet cloth and wipe it off. Charcoal pencil is water soluble so it's easy to fix any errors that you may have. I can't believe tomorrow's going to be November 1st already. Time for the holiday season to start. Let me know below if you like the holidays. Some people like them, some people don't. Just using that white gel pen now to add a little bit of highlights to the letters to make them pop. And of course, my black edge crayon there from Marabou. And I pulled out my pan pastels. I've had these in my stash now for about two years. I got them at a used craft sale and I had never used them before. I see Sean bringing hers out once in a while so I thought, let's do it. Let's try it. It was really fun. The brownish color that I was using worked out well. 
and I was daring by using that real light green. It gave the piece a lot of depth and dimension. I think I'm going to get a few more colors and add them to my stash. We'll be using them again. We're going to have to seal that with a fixative because we don't want that to smudge. Finishing the piece with those marabou black crayons and it really makes the piece pop. I hope you enjoyed this video and comment below if there's something else you'd like to see and happy Oktoberfest, the last day of Oktoberfest and may we all have a good holiday season coming up. Be sure to like, subscribe and share and we'll see you again next time. Thanks for stopping.